Hello everyone. Welcome to your tropical update for today. Before we start can I remind you to subscribe to this channel as it really shows your support. You could also share this video with your friends and family if you find it helpful. Also, don't forget to ring the bell so you never miss an upload. Stay tuned to to end more a message from me. Anyway let's start. Today we will be looking at the chances of a cyclone making a close call with Mauritius later next week. Here is my early weather follower hazard zone forecast WFHZ on the general this system is likely to take if it forms. 96S is the red cone, 93S is the yellow one. These two systems may merge with each other and form into one storm. Don't worry if it happens it will not be a super storm. As you can see my two cones for these systems come close to Mauritius and surrounding islands. In the case of these systems not merging I have made 93S hazard zone go slightly south. So 93S cone will change over time. I'll keep you updated as frequently as possible. This is the plot for 93S as well as 96S on the right. At the moment there is great uncertainty due to these two systems being so close together and they could impact on their intensity and track. But there is a general southwest movement towards Mauritius and Rodriguez. I'll be sure to keep you updated. This is the latest GFS long-range model run. As you may have noticed there has been some big changes in the latest 24 hours. At this stage it is really in limbo if this system will affect Mauritius or not. But if you look closely at the last frame the system starts doing a loop. This system may finish that loop and continue moving west towards Mauritius. This unexpected loop has pushed back the possible date of impact from 7th to the 10th of January. As always I will keep you updated of the changes. Well that's all I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed, remember to subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss an update. Bye.